The mother of a teen with autism who drowned in a freezing backyard pool near Hudsonville has entered a plea. She's guilty of taking his prescription drugs for her own use for months after he died. Barton Dieters was in a Hudsonville courtroom for this afternoon's hearing. Barton. Well, Sue and Brian, unlike her husband, Timothy, who's charged with multiple felonies in the death of their 16-year-old son, Michelle Coates is guilty only of a pair of misdemeanors. In March, Michelle Coates was allegedly sleeping after working the night shift as a nurse as her son, Sam, drowned in an icy pool in the family's Jenison home. The pair say that Timothy left home believing his wife was awake to care for the boy who had the cognitive functions of a child less than two years old, but she awoke to find him dead in the icy pool. For seven months after his death, Ottawa County Sheriff's investigators say 52-year-old Michelle Coates, along with her 50-year-old husband, continued to fill his prescriptions and use the Ritalin they obtained. Today at Hudsonville District Court, the mother pleaded no contest to the charges of using Ritalin without a prescription and to using a false prescription. A no contest plea is not an admission of guilt, but is treated like one when it comes to sentencing. Did you read and understand your rights? Yes. With those rights in mind, how do you plead? No contest. Meanwhile, Timothy Coates is charged with manslaughter in his son's death, as well as felonies, including obtaining a controlled substance by fraud, false reporting to obtain a controlled substance, and health care fraud. No sentencing date yet has been set for Michelle Coates, who faces a maximum of a year in jail, though it's unlikely she see any time behind bars on those charges. Timothy Coates is due in Grand Haven Circuit Court on Monday for a status conference on the felony charges. He faces as much as 15 years in prison. In Studio Barn Dieters, News 8.